All right, everyone, we got a good one today. MicroStrategy, ticker MSTR. You have probably seen this one recently in the news as their CEO, Michael Saylor, has been making the media rounds recently. So let's go ahead and you can see he was on PBD podcast, the Graham Stefan show with the iced coffee hour and just lots of uh, good old interviews, podcasts, Robert Kurosaki, buy gold, buy crypto, buy Bitcoin, doomsday's happening, 13 million Bitcoin, 500K Bitcoin, one zillion, you make up a number Bitcoin on MSTR. All right, let's get serious though and dive into the charts because that's all that matters, right? So we're gonna look at it again from a blank, empty chart with not much on it. Let me remove my big head a little bit, make me a little smaller. What we're looking at, let's first look at the weekly, then we'll drill the daily. The weekly is pretty incredible. We based, based, and then we have a breakout, really since this base here, of about 200 bucks. I think they did some splits. Yeah, they did, 10 to one. So basically we have a breakout, let's just say over 200 a share. So that's our first kind of level of MSTR. Does, did anyone really buy it here? in 200 probably not maybe some institutional but none of the retail so where did the donkeys buy that means you the retail trader or investor i know kind of mean calling donkeys but let's just say where did most people buy the stock because well quite frankly if you didn't know who he was or didn't know what the stock was now you do up until really about a week or two ago with the podcast round so most people bought it last week here, here, here. So really anywhere between probably honestly 450. To give you an example, I listened to all the podcast media rounds last week. And after I finished them, it was around here. So let's just say 420. I said, oh, the next day I'm going to buy it. It went up and I had FOMO. So where do most people, when the stock goes up after they think of buying it, and they think, oh my God, it's gonna go up to a thousand. What happens? We have our reversal candle. So a lot of people probably got trapped here. So 420 to let's just say 480. Let's just go ahead and make these big emotional levels. 480, most donkeys bought, and now they're crying. And then maybe the smart people bought at 420 because they were smoking the magic dragon and now they're drooling. Oh, actually, we'll get a little dope smoking in the air. I don't know if that looks like dope or what it looks like, but we'll just say that. All right. So we know we have our, we'll just use our first liquidation break. We'll call that 420. If shares cross below 420, we broke. And then 480 here, which we actually did break, as you can see the hard selling. We'll just do 480. We'll just use big, easy numbers, not get too specific here. And why? You might be asking why? Well, this big red candle with the follow through, short sellers knew, I think it was uh, Hiddenberg and uh, Doug Cass, they actually tweeted, and I posted this on my private Telegram channel, which if you want to get a part of, you can. It's absolutely free, make sure you join it and you get some cool trade ideas. Hopefully you can help your trading with it. But I posted on this and you can see this was on, do, 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 uh, what day was this? 1121, November 21st. And you can see we had from about 540 we got to all the short sellers came out that morning. So we went from 520 to 430. Now we're under 430. So this is where people got trapped. Meaning if you bought all in here, at 480, the stock went up. You're thinking this is great. Maybe use a trailing stop. You're gonna get stopped out, right? As the price takes out your support. So that was the first level, hence why volume picked up. The next level was here when we broke 420. And what happened to volume? 
elevated. Look at that volume here. And then when we broke 420 again this morning, look at volume, elevated. So you, you have what we call a lot of dumb money who is long the stock. And every time we take out support, those sell stops get triggered and they just go to zero. Not to zero, but their orders get taken out and they lose money. So where's next in MSTR? Well, as long as we continue to get a weak Bitcoin, and I can't believe I'm saying a weak Bitcoin because look at this run, right? Most people thought we'd hold 100,000. I don't know if we broke in spot Bitcoin, the Bitcoin futures we did, but you see we're starting to sell off. We're down, let's just say four and a half percent MSTR, which is a, a pure Bitcoin play. It's like a Bitcoin treasury. Again, he's very, very smart, but obviously they, all they do is buy Bitcoin. So you can see it's amplified. The returns are uh, going to be more than the price of Bitcoin. So therefore, Bitcoin's down 4.5%. This underlying stock is down about 6.5%, 7%. So what's next for the stock? Well, as long as we keep seeing selling pressure, which I think we will, maybe we'll get a dead cat bounce uh, if Bitcoin crosses 100 k but dumb money never wins. And I can tell you this, if you're a retail investor, you're a trader, investor, maybe you got 20 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand, maybe a million bucks even in the stock and you recently bought it, you're gonna lose money, just being honest with you. If you don't lose it this week, you're gonna lose it eventually because we have lots of dumb money who are long. So what's next? Ah, we probably take out the prior low. So that's about what, 372? We take out this prior low. What's gonna happen? Make this big, just so everyone can see it. Take out this prior low, what's gonna happen? We're gonna take it out and immediately flush on. I get a pointer here. We're gonna immediately flush on heavy volume. So volume is gonna increase. Then we'll probably go back into our range. So this range here that we're seeing, this is about uh, let's just do an easy box drawing. Again, you don't got to be a CMT for this. Probably 350 down to 320-ish. And then our next level would be about 270-ish. I know you're probably thinking, Lance, you're very doomsday in this. But I'm not playing and I'm not saying this is a bad company or anything wrong with it. Um, obviously, it's you know a little crazy what they're doing with Bitcoin. But I'm just using from an emotional level of where people have bought and where there's going to be the max pain, right? Because the market or stock will always give you the max pain before it goes up. So all the people who bought here, 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 they need to feel the max pain, which is lower then the stock can go higher. To give you an example, just so you understand what I'm saying, the max pain in super micro computer was we flushed out all the shorts and I had did a video on this and look how it turned out, you know, pretty much to the T did a video on this when it was around 17, 18 bucks. And now it's, you know, doubled basically, but the max pain and this stock, if you were long was here bought, Oh no, you're taken out. You bought here, taken out, you bought here, taken out, right? So all that longs, all the dumb money was gone. And then we chased higher. And then where do people buy usually? here or up in here because it's safe. Or if you recall the RFK Jr. nominee, you had stocks like Moderna, you know, get taken to the woodshed, right? And where's the max pain then? Higher, right? So if you bought here, bought here or shorted in the hole down here, right? And the stock goes up, you're going to cover your short. Same with Pfizer. Pfizer had the, um, same reaction to RFK. Here's the RFK news. Everyone got short thinking Pfizer is going to go to zero, no more vaccines. And then we ricocheted higher. Same with Kraft Heinz, RFK news, ricocheted higher. So it's not that these are good stocks or great companies or bad stocks and bad companies. All I'm showing you is where the dumb money has their buys, has their sells, has their stop losses. So you can have an unfair advantage in the markets. Remember, it's not about playing your hand at the poker table. It's about playing your opponent's hand. And if you know your opponent's hand, it doesn't matter what your hand is because you can either bet your way to bluff them out or 
hit that card that you need to make the winning hand. Hope it helps. Leave a comment below. Don't give me too much hate if you are MSR, MSTR bull or if you are an honest guy or gal. Let me know in the chat when you bought it because I guarantee we're going to have lots of people who are going to say, Lance, I bought at 450 480 500 eh, What do I do? But just be a man and admit it. Cut your losses. Go on a beach. Go cry me a river. Well, you can do whatever you want. Don't cut your losses. Eventually, the stocks will come back up, right?